What if I told you there is a way that you can get an unlimited number of barbarian kills for free, literally zero action point cost? Well, great news for once Omniarch isn't clickbaiting. Let's go. What's going on guys? Cheers. Now, before we jump into this exploit, this little hack that you can do in rise of kingdoms, I do want to give a quick shout out to gamer subs. As you guys know, I've been working with them for a couple of months now, and they have been insanely generous and supportive. And it's been such a blessing working with those guys. I hope you guys will use the link down below, use code Omni and give them a try. And if you're not ready to commit to an entire tub of waifu candy, at least try their sample packs. I'm telling you, man, it's good. You're going to thank me. Anyway, back to rise of kingdoms. We're going to talk about a little barbarian summer exploit that you can do here on the map I want to give credit to a youtuber by the name of the logic bank they make a lot of actually really good free to play content videos for rise of kingdoms so I'll have their link in the description below make sure you go over there and follow them they're only at 458 right now but they posted a video that we're gonna take a look at in just a second about how you can exploit the barbarian summoning mechanic and the key to doing this is the location on the map okay so let me show you a quick thing here if you are looking to kill a barbarian let's say you want to kill i don't know a level 12 barbarian and there's none around it will spawn it right next to your city however it spawns in a random location around your city that's unoccupied so for example it was unable to spawn in panda's location obviously because he is a player that takes up space on the map this barbarian also could not have spawned right where this level 25 barbarian is standing either additionally to that it couldn't have spawned where this marauder fort is and so on and so forth so where this barbarian spawns is limited to the available free space around you and the good news is that there is a special location on every single map and this is on your map as well on my map it's located at 1034 and 712 you also can find an identical version of this at 1094 and 713. what's special about these specific coordinates is their proximity to guardians that are spawning out in the open field as well as being within this special mountain range now if this marauder encampment wasn't taking up this space i could teleport my city right in this little nook here and the reason that this is crucial is because if you look around that location, those red slashes that are where the mountain range is located, that means nothing can spawn where that mountain range is. You can't get resource nodes there. You won't see any barbarian forts spawning there because it's mountains. There's nothing that can be spawned there. So if your city is located perfectly in this little mountain range, every single barbarian that you spawn next to your city will show up in this area here. The benefit of that is the location of those barbarians to these guardians. And as you guys know, it costs zero AP to kill these guardians. So I'm sure you know where we're going by now. Now, again, if that Marauder encampment wasn't right where I wanted to do, I would have just shown you this in my own city. So what the logic bank shows in the video is that you can teleport exactly where I showed you before. Here you see a guardian is right next to his city. When he goes ahead and spawns some barbarians right there, you'll see that they all are spawning in a small cluster. He then proceeds to send out an army with Ethelfled and Belisarius filled with tier one siege. And as he's fighting this guardian, you can see that he positions his Ethelfled properly. So that way, when her AOE goes off her primary skill, it immediately kills those low level barbarians. And this was during the strategic reserve event, which means that he was able to get free strategic reserve boxes just by doing this method. Now, of course, it would be better to use Isongye because he has that circular AOE. So you have to be a little bit less precise precise and you can hit more of the barbarians nearby but if you're completely free to play and you haven't maxed out isong Ye yet then go ahead and use ethel Flood because she does have the best aoe radius that you're gonna have access to and the best part about this is that because they're using tier one siege he's actually not even killing this guardian he's just walking away after he kills the barbarians and goes back to his city which means he's able to do this over and over and over again as long as that guardian never dies then he's able to hit it with the aoe kill the barbarians next to it and go back to the city and summon more barbarians and do it over and over and over again and that's it 
that is the exploit now i know what you're thinking right these low level barbarians the the rewards that you get from them aren't super good right compared to something like a level 25 barbarian which we see right here the probability that you get more gems more arrows of resistance is higher with the higher level barbarians but the rewards aren't that much different right from a level one to a level 25 especially when you consider that you can do this unlimited number of times over and over and over again and you just get it for free so yeah it's actually pretty crazy but then you can consider the fact that what if you're actually in the alliance that controls the sanctum with which you're doing this exploit that means you are able to guarantee that something spawns on alliance territory so long as your city is close enough to this border what does that mean that means for Kurok ceremony you are guaranteeing that every Kurok is going to spawn on alliance territory if you're talking about the arms training lohar event you're able to guarantee that he spawns right next to you on alliance territory every single time so there's a lot of advantage to being in this specific location on the map and honestly i'm sort of afraid that lilith is going to patch this i feel like they're going to go in and every time there's a mountain structure that forms like this they're going to put red lines all across the center of its the structure as well so you can't teleport in here which lilith please don't ruin our fun okay please just let us have this one cute little tiny little exploit that we can use and give value to free-to-play players okay and like he showed in the video this is going to help free-to-play players compete a little bit more in this strategic reserve event but furthermore it's also going to help you with low harsh trial right if you can get an unlimited number of low-level barbarian kills by doing this specific method then you're going to be able to get a ton of the low heart bone necklace which actually gives you some really good rewards and it's going to be a great way for you to level up your lohar in the early game finally it's also worth noting that these barbarians even at level one have a chance to drop gems which means this is an unlimited way for you to get free gems uh, i know the drop rate isn't great but seriously you're able to kill like three or four barbarians in a single skill shot and you can do that over and over and over again it would be really interesting to see just how far somebody could push this exploit and how much value they can get out of it especially during events like lohar or strategic reserve so again these are the two coordinates that i was able to find in my specific kingdom that you can do this at i'm sure there are other mountain formations near sanctums that you can discover in your kingdom as well and uh, uh, it may be slightly different than than here right if you type those coordinates in in your own kingdom and you don't see it just zoom out a little bit until you see the nearest sanctum and right next to it is where you're going to be able to find this specific mountain formation guys drop a thumbs up on the video if this helps you out a ton it really helps out the channel and the youtube videos get in that algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it if you're new here subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video and of course subscribe to the logic bank again his link will be in the description below thank you to him for letting me talk about this method that i found through his video as always my social media links they're in the description instagram twitter facebook and discord go ahead and check them out as well as gamer subs again another shout out to those guys they've been super super helpful and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omni arc i will talk to you guys again soon peace